Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee, making a video to go over side-by-side -side audio and specifically the new options from SSV Works for the Kawasaki KRX. We are blessed to live in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. That's where our retail location and our warehouse is. And we're five miles from the main trailhead at Winrock Park, the largest privately owned ATV park in the country. 73,000 acres, 300 miles of trails, and we set up and sponsor the Winrock Park and all their events. While we're there, we're seeing more and more Kawasaki KRXs. It's probably one of the most popular machines now at our local mountain. And if you're gonna be doing off-roading with rocks, trees, and mud, this machine is phenomenal. I know it's not as popular out in the dunes, but it is super popular here in the hills of Tennessee. So in, in this video, we're gonna go over the new parts, the new sub-enclosure, speaker enclosures, the radio, we're gonna show you what we installed in this machine and also listen to it at the end. So hang out as we go over all these things and hopefully we'll answer a lot of questions so you can upgrade the system in your KRX. All right, so let's talk KRX audio. You bought a new machine, you wanna go riding, but you also know you don't wanna do it in silence the whole time. So there's two options. You either buy it without a radio in it, or there's a factory Hyphonics option. We find there's some major flaws, we think, in the design of the Hyphonics system. And I'm gonna go over those real quick so you understand why these solutions exist. First off, Hyphonics put some six and a half inch speakers in the doors. Now this door has a pretty sturdy frame, but the body of this door is very thin. It tends to flex a lot. You lose a lot of sound by cutting a hole and going into the door panel. We also see that Hyphonics added an amp and a sub and located it in the bed. So what storage space you had is no longer usable. There's nowhere to put a cooler, there's nowhere to put your other stuff because your sub's taking up all that room. On top of that, the sub is actually in the bed behind you so you're not hearing it in the cab. So great for the person riding behind you, not so much for you as the driver. Uh, thirdly, we've already seen many, many head unit failures with the Hyphonics radio. If it gets wet, it dies. So apparently not very IPX rated, and we've got some much better solutions. So this customer of ours watches some of our Harley videos, and he really wanted a loud, crisp, clean system. And so these are the components we picked. I want to go over those and some of our other options. First off, instead of putting the speakers in the door, we're putting them in the kick panel. This is above your feet. There's no clearance issue with your foot, your knee, but we have a good solid built enclosure that's gonna give us really good mid bass response and better speaker response than in those hollow doors. At Volunteer Audio, we sell these empty. We sell them loaded with the SSV Works speakers, the Kicker KM series speakers, and in this case, the Hertz SX165 Neo speakers. This is one of the loudest, clearest, most efficient speakers we've ever put in anything. And normally we put it in Harley Davidson motorcycles. So if it can overcome the wind and the engine of a Harley with a helmet on riding down the road, you know this is gonna be plenty of loud in the open cabin of your KRX. All right, so one of my favorite parts is this sub enclosure. It's just like you see it here. It goes in standing behind the passenger seat. It's gonna come with some heavy duty metal brackets to make sure it's secured properly, but it moves the sub into a location you probably weren't gonna use the upper part of the seat area. It also is going to free up that entire bed space for whatever gear you wanna take, for coolers, toolboxes, et cetera. It's all open. Very well built, heavy duty, roto molded plastic, lifetime warranty on these enclosures, and acoustically, they sound amazing. So this is also available unloaded with the SSV Work sub, the Kicker uh, subwoofer, it's a Comp RT sub that has a waterproof face. But in this case, again, we're going with one of our Hertz options. This is the Milli Pro New Shallow subwoofer, the MPX, MPS250. This is an S2, which is a single two-ohm voice call. We also offer it in a four-ohm voice call. The whole face of this is either polypropylene or butyl rubber, so it's gonna be waterproof on the face. And once installed in this box, nothing's gonna to get to the back of it. It's perfect for the airspace we're working with. It's got a lot of excursion, probably the most excursion of any shallow subwoofer. So it's gonna sound like a full size sub, even though we're taking up this very minimal space. Uh, we're also gonna be using two Hertz amplifiers in this install. This is a custom build, so I'm not gonna go step by step on how we did it because this is something that 
is not in a plug and play configuration. But we're using the Hertz HMP 4D, which is a very popular amp for us to use in our Harleys. It's IPX rated, fully submersible. We don't have to worry about water, even though we're still mounting it very high in the dash. We're also using the HMP 1D, which is our monoblock sub amp. It's gonna be giving us in the mid 300 watt range RMS power, 600 watts max to this Hertz sub. Really brings it to life. It's the same size, same IPX waterproof rating. So SSV Works also has made this panel. It is a radio uh, panel that was designed for like the Rockford of the JVC radio. And the JVC radio fits it perfect, but JVC discontinued the radio. So we're using the Hertz HMR20 IPX rated radio. We know it's gonna hold up if it gets wet or muddy. Uh, much better built radio than what comes in them from Hyphonics. Very strong RCA outputs, clean all the way to full volume. So it gives us a great source to build our entire system around. And with very slight modification, I was able to use this panel with that radio. So we'll show you that in the machine here in a few minutes. Um, all of this is available at volunteeraudio.com. If you got questions about it, other parts you need, we can assemble a full kit for you. And very soon we'll have this in a complete plug and play configuration from SSV Works, just awaiting a new amp plate and amp bracket. In this install, I put the amps actually above the glove box, cleaned it very well, used large Velcro pads to stick it to the top of the glove box, and then wrap that with a large zip tie to make sure if any of that ever tried to move, we had something else to secure it in. We're running all copper wire from the battery up, new runs, power and ground to each amp. We also added another run to the middle of the dash to that accessory plate for all the add-ons. This thing's got heated seats, it's loaded. So we had to have a place for all those things to tie in also. But I wanted to go over these options. So let's get to the machine and show it to you inside and let's take a listen to it. All right, so I popped the steering wheel off to give you a better view in here, but I wanted to show you these parts installed. So as you see, we have our kick panel pods with our Hertz SX165 Neos, and we've installed a grill on them. Uh, this is also available from Hertz just to protect it from people getting in and out. Maybe they kick this way. We don't want to hit the speaker. I think it looks better with the grill on it also. Our HMR20 is right here centered in the dash. It looks great. It fits great. Uh, Hertz also sends a marine cover that goes over it. So if it's going to sit outside for a long time, it keeps UV and things from affecting the face, just like an ocean-going vessel would have over its electronics. Uh, this was a pretty big install. Uh, a lot of it was wiring, so the customer showed up. They wanted rock lights. They wanted heated seats, so we added heated seats on both sides. Uh, we had to build new harnessing for their winch, added CB connections, so a lot of time involved in it. Uh, but I think it looks really clean, looks really good. Radio fits great, speakers fit great. And if you get in here, you still have all the room you would ever want as far as leg goes. This speaker doesn't affect leg room any at all. So let's move. I'm gonna slide this seat forward and try to show you this sub enclosure and then we'll listen to it. All right, I think we've got this lit up enough to let you see it. As you see, this sub enclosure fits very nice behind the seat. And our Hertz Milli Pro Shallow Sub comes with an excellent grill to go over that sub already included with it. Uh, this particular KRX has added the harness bars and these uh, retracting harnesses, the six points. So as you see, it fits with that or with the stock seat belt configuration. So it's gonna fit either way. And the seat still goes all the way back. So we've lost no space as far as travel. We're not gonna be putting you in any kind of uncomfortable position just to have a subwoofer. Completely waterproof, mud proof. We're not gonna have to worry about that whatsoever. Uh, fits great, looks great. The guys at SSV Works really knocked it out of the park on this design. Uh, so let's set up and listen to it. All right, we're set up. We're gonna let you hear it. I wanted to point out something. Uh, radio's turned on now so you can see how beautiful this radio is. It's got the Kawasaki green backlit buttons, uh, which is great on this. But that's selectable, so if you don't have the green one, you can pick a bunch of other colors to make it look like it should be in here. Uh, another thing I mentioned but didn't show you a minute ago was the marine cover. So it's gonna come with this heavy duty rubber cover. You can put this on it. Uh, Normally you're gonna put it down there while it's in storage. It's not necessary while you're washing it, it's waterproof. So it's not there to try to keep water out of it. But let's take a listen to it and then I wanna show you all the mud and dirt falling out of the cracks as this sub really gets down, so.
So I think you kind of get the idea. It's crystal clear. It's clean and sounds great all the way to full volume. The bass is deep and rich. It's just going to be so enjoyable to listen to this while riding down the trail. I think if weather permits, we'll pull it outside and probably do a walk away here in just a few minutes and let you hear just how loud it is and how far away it goes. Also, I'm going to try to video this dirt falling out of the cracks. So keep watching. We've got some more cool stuff coming here in just a few seconds. idea it's going to be more than loud enough to get over the engine noise and the trail noise. We also show off and make sure your friends can't hear their radio either. Thank you for watching. As always, God bless. I hope you have a blessed day.